Grades one through five, we follow a set curriculum that really follows and, and is the reflection of child development. What we're really trying to do is create the process of learning so they become a lifelong learner. And as you watch them grow up through the curriculum, as you watch them hit those early grades, um, you see this feeling life come more and more into play. And if you educate towards that feeling life, you get them involved on an emotional level. So one aspect of Waldorf education that's a little unusual is, is having the same class teacher from first through eighth grade. We teach them what's called the morning lesson every day, and that's the first two hours of the day. And we teach science, math, history, language arts, all these things in the grade school. And the arts are, are really embedded within the lesson, the lively arts of singing and speaking and playing uh, musical instruments, we do that every day. We could see from early in the grade experience that there was an integration across the different subject matter, if you would, and therefore when our child was doing something mathematical, there was an artistic component to it, or if our child was doing a scientific project, it was brought alive in some artistic way. Academically, it was very exciting. We would get to take you know, our science classes, we were exploding things and mixing things and playing with flashlights and refraction. And um, I remember history classes, we got to listen to wonderful biographies and um, wrote about them when we got home. When we teach ancient history in fifth grade, we do it so that they become Greeks. They become Persians. They actually really get to experience. They eat Greek food. They dress like Greeks. They, they draw Greek pictures. They study Greek art. They study the Greek alphabet. They actually, for four weeks, become Greek citizens. And they get to feel what it means to be Greek. It's not abstract. It's real for them. And it's through their feelings. And then drama comes into play in the grades and every class, every year, puts on some kind of production. And so at the same time your child is learning the basics, you know, reading, writing, arithmetic. Your child's learning through these other medium, uh, the media, how to express themselves, and learning things about the world by experiencing more than just sort of head learning. First through fifth grade, the Spanish curriculum is giving them vocabulary vocabulary through movement, using their bodies to talk about body parts, finding colors in their environment to learn colors. Movement is used in the early grades to teach mathematics. They assemble in the room in what's called morning circle. And there we learn to count rhythmically so that by the end of third grade, they know their 12 number tables through motion and movement. And in fourth grade, they would bring it into more of a pictorial understanding of the number of facts. In science, it's really easy to think, what does it mean to be phenomenological? But we really do that for everything that we teach. We do it from the phenomena, from the experience. So math is either done in their body through clapping and stomping exercises that they do, or it's done with manipulatives. So they actually see that they have seven pebbles and then those seven pebbles are broken into a group of four and three. They see the phenomenon of those groups and that's how they learn the math. You're also drawing pictures, you're learning stories um, that sort of integrate scientific concepts or mathematical concepts. We teach form drawing in the Waldorf curriculum beginning in the first grade. And what it represents is movement come to rest. And so when they draw a spiral, for example, we have them first run a spiral, and then we come to the classroom, we move it with our arms, we draw it with our feet, we draw it on our neighbor's back, and then finally we bring a crayon to paper and we draw a large spiral which has many forms within science. This form drawing then, goes, translates into more constructed Euclidean geometry in grade six, where we actually construct, using the spiral, the, a shell, showing the spiral of Archimedes there based on the arithmetic progression. My encouragement for other parents 
to send their children to a Waldorf school is simply that the children are so happy. Uh, they love coming to school. My daughter, when she was in first grade, would be sad when it was Saturday. There's nothing more important than educating children.